Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton. One of the most important and often repeated themes in the military is safety. When soldiers' lives and expensive equipment are involved, there is a reason for the repetition. Airman Brayton Metzger reports. Large military vehicles. Korean traffic. For anyone who's ever driven on the roads of Korea, this may sound like a recipe for disaster. Safety is, is probably the biggest factor in our movement. Uh, as, as you know, well, these are probably the largest vehicles you'll see on Korean roads. Turns. Make sure that when you guys are turning, you're paying attention to the turn. Driving in Korea, I've been here almost two years. Uh, it's, it's not an easy task to drive just with a POV, much less a large government vehicle. But before these vehicles can truly hit the road, they have one very important obstacle. It, it, it is a tight squeeze and a, a hard turn. Well, you're just like, you kind of just clench and just wait for them to get through safely. Sounds serious, right? Well, it's just the front gate for Suwon Air Base. But with proper training, leadership is more than confident. I mean, you just kind of have to let them do what you know they know how to do. Because if you're like, oh God, no, then you're just going to scare them. And it's, you got to let the, you got to trust that they're going to do what they're trained to do. And these soldiers understand the priority of safety in these convoys. You know, they say, uh, you know, safety always, safety first. For us, we do crew drills constantly, and a safety will fail you. So the soldiers are really good about uh, not committing those safeties, those cautions, those warnings uh, during their drills, pretty much during all air defense exercises we do. Senior Airman Braden Metzger, Suwon Air Base, Korea. This convoy was on its way to a field training exercise where soldiers will train for their wartime mission and then return to Suwon Air Base. That was your Korea Update. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton.